Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Not too much, not too little. Taxpayers should check if their tax withholding is just right. Not too much, not too little, but just right, huh? Is it just me or does it sound like the IRS is calling the American taxpayer Goldilocks over here? Now, I'm not some dumb blonde with my Goldilocks hair who like walks into random houses and just starts taste testing bowls of hot porridge on the table. I mean, honestly, if anything, you're the one coming into my home and eating my porridge, IRS. You, you, you're the porridge stealer around here. You're the, you're the porridge stealer. Don't be projecting at me like that, IRS. Everyone knows the real story. I mean, you've even gotten so used to my generosity that you now require me to mail you my porridge. And even that's not good enough. The US Postal Service being too slow. And who runs that place anyways? Now you want me to electronically transfer my porridge, which is ridiculous. Plus, IRS, you, re you really shouldn't be calling people dumb blondes. It's insensitive, stereotypical, and bigoted. You should be ashamed of yourself for doing it. You know, actually, now that I look at this again, not too much, not too little, but just right, maybe the IRS does realize that they are Goldilocks, and they're just reminding me how they like their porridge prepared. You know, I, I don't make the porridge for you, Goldilocks IRS. That That's my family's porridge, dang it. You'll eat what I give you and like it. I mean, not to fat shame or anything, but you're already like 500 pounds, but whatever. A climate activist named Dawn broke into a museum just before Dawn, glued her butt to a famous painting, and proclaimed, The world will finally come to their senses and yield at the crack of dawn. Tonight, the age of man comes to an end. No more compromise. The police took action, very politely. No greetings. What seems to be your boggle? She then took her threat a step further, pulling out food cans. Not throwing soup on the painting, but instead eating five cans of extra spicy chili. Alright, now, it's sale time, so remember, we don't take no- From anyone. No. Uh, we don't take no prisoners. We don't take no for an answer. Oh yeah, we don't take no for an answer. Then, the crack of dawn fired off a warning shot that cleared out the entire museum. One little heavy on the pine tree perfume there, kid. Sir, it's a taxi cab air freshener. Great, you've pinpointed it. Step two is washing it off. Police officials debated their options. I'm with you. Let's go blow this guy. Away. Blow this guy away. Whatever. She's got away with words. After some debate, the world promptly ceased all fossil fuel production. And I am sorry to say that the world has become a Brady Bunch version of itself. Come by a bunch of robes. All we have to do to run the whole thing is to kill a man named Raymond, who put it all together. After realizing we could power the entire world using solely the energy fired out of the crack of dawn. Our early attempts at a tractor beam went through several preparations. Preparations A through G were a complete failure. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a working tractor beam, which we shall call Preparation H. But wait, that's silly. You can't save the world from global warming by using cow emissions. Yes, Frau, on the whole, I think Preparation H feels good. COVID tax tip 2022-168, November 2nd, 2022. There are good surprises and there are bad surprises. Generally, a tax-related surprise is probably unwanted. To avoid tax surprises, people should review their tax withholding. Let's first take a step back and just think about the tax process and when we have to pay the taxes in general, that being the IRS wanting their money as you earn the money. So if we're talking tax year 2022, even though the tax return is not due until next year by April 15th, 2023 in general, you can't wait and pay all of your taxes by April 15th, 2023. And you might say, well, I don't want to do that. That's why I don't do that because then I would have a whole big bill that I would have to pay by April 15th, 2023. No, that's not why you don't do it that way. You don't do it that way 
because if you did, the IRS would hit you with penalties and interest. The goal is to pay as little taxes as possible. The IRS wants to get their money as soon as possible, and therefore they require their payments to be happening as you earn them throughout 2022 in this case. So how do they do that? They can pressure the employer oftentimes to force you to have withholdings by making you fill out a W-4 and so on. So you're giving the information with generally the W-4 in that case to the employer. The employer then is required to go by the information that you give them in order to uh, make the, the withholdings would be the general idea. Now, if you're self-employed, then of course you have to make quarterly payments to the IRS. Now, if, if everything was static uh, going forward, meaning the tax code wasn't changing a lot and people's tax circumstances were changing a lot, meaning they have the same job for multiple years, they've got the same number of people working in their household, then although the tax code is quite complex, you can kind of hone down your withholdings over time if there's some consistency. But at this point in time, we've got a tax code which is co quite complex, a tax code that's changing a lot over the last few years and working situations where people are bouncing around a lot more and having different people working within households, which makes the income tax system a lot more difficult. It's not a flat tax, remember? So we can't just say, okay, well, I'll pay as I earn the money. So as I earn the money, if I earned $10,000, so I'll pay whatever the tax rate is for $10,000. No, you have to pay the tax rate that would be like the average tax rate because we have a progressive tax system and whatnot. So it's kind of a confusing calculation, even if you knew how much you were going to make. And even people that are W-2 employees don't know how much they're going to make these, these days because they might not be at one particular job for a long time or they might have multiple things going on. You might have gig work going on. So that makes it more and more necessary to, to run projections into the future so that you can properly calculate your withholdings uh, and to avoid the penalties and interest. That's the general idea. Okay, so there's still time left in 2022 to make changes and see the benefit of their tax return next year. An adjustment made now will help people avoid the surprise of a balance due or a larger than expected refund. Notice that you, the reason a refund is not really the desirable uh, effect is because if you're getting a large refund, that means that you could have gotten that money earlier. And from a cash management standpoint, typically if we can get the money earlier, that's usually better because then we can invest that money and, and, and or use it to whatever we need. So we would like to have our paycheck be as, as high as possible while still being able to not owe any taxes at tax time, not simply because we, you know, we're going to have to owe whatever we owe in terms of the taxes, whether we prepay it or not, but we're trying to pay the taxes to avoid the penalties. That's, that's the idea. So we don't want to pay more taxes than we're legally required to do. How do we do that? We, we shoot for a refund. We shoot for a refund, not because we just want a refund, but because we want to, we want to avoid penalties and interest and it's impossible to hit it perfectly because it, the tax system is way too complex to do that. So people who owe taxes when they file may also face a penalty. So there's a link to that here for underpayment. So they should take steps to avoid that. It's an especially good idea to check withholdings uh, when a taxpayer has a big life change. Now, a big life change, you get married, you, you get divorced, or you buy a home. These are things that typically are, are gonna change. But these days, everybody's having pretty significant changes just because the tax code is changing if nothing else you got stimulus payments you got the child you know credits going out which are going to go up and then they're going to stop and you got these temporary laws that that are taking place so again if we were in st static times then if you worked a one income family household and they had the same job that was going steadily uh, going forward, they own the home and you got the mortgage payments, which are pretty much similar from year to year. It's pretty easy to make your estimates in that case. But if you've got multiple people working, jobs are changing, the tax code is fluctuating, then you're going to have to, pretty much everyone's going to have to be making estimates if they're trying to get their withholdings uh, to line up. So even events like marriage, divorce, a new child, a new home purchase, or changes in tax laws can all be reasons to adjust withholdings. 
Credit amounts may change each year. Taxpayers can visit irs.gov and use the interactive tax assistant. So there's some nice tools for the, for the estimator tool online at the IRS. You pretty much need software to try to project properly into the future. And, uh, and some of the tools they have on, online, these estimator tools are getting closer to like tax software to give a pretty good projection. So you can use that to identify whether they qualify for any tax credits that may call for a withholding adjustment. So taxes pay as you go. So taxes are generally paid throughout the year. So once again, the IRS wants their money in 2022, not when you file the tax return by April 15th, uh, 2023. You're not paying them during the year just because you don't wanna have a big bill at the end of April, uh, at the April 15th. You're paying it so that you don't pay more taxes because of penalties and interest. So uh, whether from salary withholding, quarterly estimated tax payments, or a combination of both, about 70% of taxpayers, however, withhold, withhold too much every year. This typically results in a refund. So if you withhold too much, it's not a big problem because then you get a refund, and, but you just you could have gotten that money sooner in your paycheck. So you'd like to kind of have a sweet spot if, you get, if you're getting way too much of a refund, you know, not a big deal. It's better than owing more taxes, but if you need that money, it could be a big deal. And, and if you have the money sooner, you could you could invest it you know, sooner and do, do what you want to do with it. So a few other facts about refunds. Proper withholding adjustments, there's a link to that here. Help people boost their take home pay rather than over uh, withholding taxes throughout the year and getting it back as a refund. So that's the, that's the play here, that's the interplay. Do you get more money in your paycheck and then get, a, and then get lesser of a refund? Or do you have more, less money paycheck to paycheck because you have more withholdings, which gives you a bigger cushion to, 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 to clear your tax obligation and not be penalized and most likely result in a larger refund and when you file the tax return. While the IRS issues most refunds in 21 days or less from an error-free ele uh, electronic tax return, it may take longer for different reasons. It's generally not a good idea to rely on refund for big purchases. So even if you think you're going to get a refund, you don't want to really go out and start spending money based on the money that you expect to get until you get it in your hands, unless you need to, of course. So, I mean, if you've got bills that are coming up in their requirements, but you shouldn't go buy, you know, frivolous things until you get the money generally. So direct deposit, there's a link to that here is the easiest and most convenient way to get a refund. The IRS issues more than 90% of all refunds this way. Paper return processing delays stemming from the pandemic are six months or more. So the IRS COVID-19 operations page, there's a link to that here, offers complete details. The tax withholding estimator. So here's their estimator tool, pretty good tool. To, to use. It's getting more and more like a projection tax software. There's a link to it here. So if you have questions about, am I over or under withholding? The only way to really figure that out is to actually basically do a tax return. And obviously tax software is not out generally for tax year 2022. You need to use projection software. And if you don't have access to that, right, you can you can use the IRS tax withholding estimator here, which is pretty pretty good. So there's a link to that can help you determine if they have too much income tax withheld and how to make an adjustment. In other cases, it can help taxpayers see if they should withhold more or make an estimated tax payment. There's a link to that here to avoid a tax bill when they file their taxes return next year. Now note, if you owe too much money, you know, at, I mean, if you have to adjust your tax withholdings now in November, then you might have to make drastic adjustments if you're short on your taxes to try to avoid penalties and interest. So you might have to make a drastic adjustment now and then check it again in January or at least by April once you've done your taxes to see if you did a proper adjustment. And then you'll have to adjust your withholdings again for tax year 2023 because now you have a longer time frame. So you would like to get your tax withholdings the same for the entire year, right? But again, that's really difficult to do with the complexity in people's tax situations these days. You're basically guessing what your tax situation will be in terms of income and tax laws and credits and whatnot to do that. So in any case, other items may affect 2022. Some unforeseen life events can make withholding adjustments necessary. They include coronavirus tax relief, tax help for taxpayers, businesses, tax exempt organizations, and others affected by the coronavirus. 
Disasters such as wildfire and hurricanes. Special tax law provisions may help taxpayers and businesses recover financially after a disaster, especially when the federal government declares their location a major disaster area. Job loss, IRS publication 4128, tax impact of job loss explains how this unfortunate circumstance can create new tax issues. Workers moving into the gig economy due to the pandemic. Here's the one the IRS is really after. If you, you're going into the gig economy, you're on, you're on the IRS's hit list. I'll tell you what, you better watch yourself. Any case, people earning income in the gig economy should review their estimated tax payment to avoid a balance due or penalties when they file. So there's more information at the link below. We got the tax withholding link and we got links to the tax estimator tool, which is a good tool to kind of check out your estimating situation. And there's links to all the other stuff. We said there's link here, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There'll be a link to this in the description.